Hello and welcome to the decals.com family. This is a rasterized sticker and this is a vectorized sticker. Can you tell the difference? Well, keep watching to find out how to get rid of pesky unwanted pixels and keep your decals, stickers and labels coming out perfect every time. Hi, my name is Colton Lasota, and before I show you how to rid yourself of those pesky unwanted pixels, I have to first go over exactly what rasterized and vectorized images are. It'll be fun. Let's do this. You may be familiar with the chemical process of capturing real images invented in 1822 by Joseph Nisifor Niepce. This here is the oldest known photograph named View from the Window at Le Gras. Pretty cool, right? This leads us to the digital age. In this image, since there was no chemical process of gathering the light from the real world, the image must be made of pixels. Which means that this image is rasterized. The amount of pixels contained in the image is what causes its clarity, otherwise known as resolution. This is what causes some stickers to be more pixelated than others. If your photo stickers are too pixelated, make sure you're taking them at a high enough resolution and that they're saved at a DPI of 300 or higher. So, raster images are good for detailed, highly realistic images, they're more compatible with other programs, and they can be more color accurate. Raster images lack scalability, are larger in terms of file size, and are harder to edit non-destructively. While rasterized images are great for quickly capturing real images in a digital format, Sometimes any pixels aren't at all ideal. Shortly after the invention of computers, graphic designers wanted to use the power of computing to create crisp digital images without the use of pixels. Between the innovations of Ivan Sutherland and Pierre Bezier, using mathematical equations and new software, they developed a method to produce digital graphic images that are curved and unpixelated. With the power of these mathematical equations, computer programs could now infinitely scale images without sacrificing any quality. The upsides of using vector images are, they are infinitely scalable, ideal for logos and illustrations, and file sizes are smaller. The downsides to using vector images are, to create vector images, you will need specialized software such as Adobe Illustrator. If your image is a photograph, vectorizing it will cause a loss in detail and color accuracy. And finally, vector files are less shareable between programs and devices than raster files are. Now that we know what each of these images are, here are the stickers from before. If you thought the red grapes were the vector file, you would be correct. As you can see in this image, the edges lose their detail and are pixelated over here. And in the vector design, you can see the straight edges and bezier curves. If you have a graphic design that is pixelated, at decals.com we can upscale and vectorize your artwork so that it comes out clean and unpixelated for an additional cost. To learn more, please contact decals.com and talk to a customer service rep today. We hope that this guide has helped you to get your decals as crisp and clean as possible. If it did, be sure to leave us a like and subscribe for more decals.com content. Make sure to leave a comment below as to the future guides you'd like to see. Till next time guys, and to all the decals.com family, thank you for watching.